Welcome back, Lore Seekers. We have a new episode today, and this one is about the Psycho Rangers, as you probably guessed it from the intro. They are an evil group that parried the Space Rangers during the Power Rangers in Space series. Uh, they were created by Astronema, the main villain of the series, and instead of tapping into the Morphing Grid, she instead tapped into the Grand Monarch of Evil himself, Dark Spectre. Now, they are a very interesting group of people because, uh, well, they're not really people, but they're portrayed as them. Uh, they were completely unaware of the fact that Astronomer was just using them to weaken the Rangers, but also weaken Dark Spectre at the same time to make her own power grab. For every time they fought with their normal Rangers, and they did battle with them, they drained the Dark Spectre of his power, as well as weakened the Rangers and morally broke them every time they were defeated. She would even call them back before, just right before they were about to destroy the rangers. And it would just infuriate them because they just don't understand why she kept calling them back. So that was a very interesting little subtle play of some back plotting that you don't really see too much in Power Rangers there. And she, she wanted to draw up every single ounce of power out of him. Thus being him being Dark Spectre. As evil copies of the rangers, they follow the same pattern as Red blue, black, yellow, pink. However, they added the versions of, instead of Power uh, Red Ranger, they were Red Psycho Ranger, or Yellow Psycho Ranger. Um, they didn't have Zords, so sad we didn't get like an evil parody version of Zords, but we did get monster forms from them. They were like abominations of different ants and animals and plants merged together into like one thing. They would quickly overpower the rangers when they worked as a team because the rangers weren't used to fighting like they were usually used to, used to fighting five on one rather than like one on a uh, five on five or fighting putties or like the mi basic minions were just trash against them once they learned out their weaknesses but yeah they had a hard time dealing with the rangers because they could also hear the morphing they learned like designed to like their morphing information like when they called them up on zord and go like going hey there's a issue going on they learned for that and would attack immediately every time they heard that so it's very interesting enemies because they could barely they were just constantly fighting them constantly fighting them now the greatest weakness of the psycho rangers was also the greatest strength they were designed to fight the color they were for example, the Red Psycho Ranger was meant to fight the Red Ranger. He knew all his moves and how best to counter them. Uh, so on with all the other Psycho Rangers and the Rangers themselves. How they lost that advantage when they, when a few of them were destroyed, when they all ganked up on like one or two of the Psycho Rangers who thought that they could take him on, no problem at all. However, the Psycho Rangers would not just be dead after that. They would learn, live on in a spirit and by that they would come back they would challenge the rangers again when the rangers were captured by astronomer and the rangers were turned into data discs um the machine that she used would be used by the psycho rangers to basically get their bodies back through like they their spirits jumped in the machine it created their own bodies per se and they instead of destroying the disc the rangers had become they wanted to show that they themselves didn't need the they were going to destroy themselves personally and they broke they used it got the data discs for the rangers released the rangers and they fought them and were destroyed again however when they were destroyed they were turned into data discs because they used the machines and those data discs were thought to be lost forever and that was the last time we were supposed to see the psycho rangers except for then we saw them in lost galaxy where those same data discs would be found in the hands of the evil and manipulative Deviat. Now he is as his name says he's very devious. Uh, he would release them and send them after the rangers. Uh, however this would turn out to be a crossover episode uh, which saved the lost galaxy rangers because they were joined by the lost uh, in space rangers. I keep wanting to say lost in space but in truth the lost galaxy rangers were the lost in space rangers. Uh, <laughs> So that the in-space rangers would help the lost galaxy rangers turn around and defeat the psycho rangers and they would be utterly destroyed this time except for they weren't because this was a two-parter crossover episode who would have thought um and it turns out the psycho pink ranger survived and she would actually pretend to be dead and listen in on kendrick's the lost galaxy pink ranger 
as she was studying through this book called the Galaxy Book, an ancient artifact that ha needs to have its own story going on about it. Well, she would overhear about an ancient artifact in the book known also as the Savage Sword, and it was said to be stronger than any of the Quasar Sabers, which the Quasar Sabers were um, artifacts that gave the Lost Galaxy Rangers their morphing powers and the connection to the morphing grid. So the Lost Galaxy uh, Rangers were unaware that Pink was there, and then all of a sudden they, I forget the exact reason why, but I think they had like a data terminal that they figured out that Pink was still alive, or they saw her on a sensor, and she went after the, the Savage Sword. They went after her in turn, however, she would grab up the Savage Sword before they could stop her, and she would cut down and destroy Kendrix utterly, for the first time ever killing a ranger on screen, in my opinion. Now, there was other rangers who died before her, but they were never actually seen on screen in such a brutal way. Um, so this is uh, 2001 era, I want to say. So there was a lot of things that there was really like edgy per se uh, for that series. And that's one of my favorite series for Lost Galaxy. And that's one of the reasons why they weren't afraid. Now the actress who played Kendricks had to leave because she was battling cancer at the time. And they were later replaced replace her with another pink ranger. But they had her as a spirit form and they to challenge this forward. But the Psycho Pink was the first one to destroy a ranger utterly and complete and complete her mission. Um, the Savage Sword would turn into an unbelievable powerful monster, would turn into a monster form, and she would just go on a rampage. But would be on her doing this, and she went mad with power, believing that she could take on other rangers. And they just gained up on her a bunch of zords and destroyed her utterly. Who knew that was going to happen? It is a Power Rangers episode, after all. So, in the following series, however, we were never meant to be see the rate psycho rangers again they were utterly destroyed they were not discs anymore however again in the following series lightspeed rescue two of the psycho rangers were seen in monster forms in queen queen banshira's tomb she's like flips over this uh, tomb entrance and they're one of the like the few monsters seen there now is this like just a forgetful thing or they just were there intentionally we don't know i think it's just we used footage from an older series but hey they, those monsters were easily identified there. So now also, if you look in to the comics of Boom Studios, they add a new ranger. A psycho green ranger. And he appears as the right hand of Dark Spectre himself. And this is, his first introduction is shown in like 1970s in the comics. And he crash lands in the moon, he's shot down by Zordon and things, and they say he's going to stay there. He wakes up later and they had to send a team to stop him and they supposedly do but he kind of makes it back in his longer story he's apparently wasn't really just a creation of just pure evil or out of theirs he was originally one of the supersonic rangers from a, another planet that was corrupted and turned evil um i think it was through his own malicious he was just naturally evil he wasn't like found a dark shard and turned evil he was just said i choose to serve evil rather than good what's the benefits i'm getting out of it and he would turn to dark specter be given his ranger form which i don't know if it's connected to the morphing grid or is directly connected to dark specter again i think it would be connected to dark specter which may maybe put out there is there a dark version of the morphing grid you never know it's interesting big thing to play off there but uh he also has a monstrous form and is pretty interesting. They didn't go too much in the comics about it, but I feel as though we're going to get more and more as time goes on. Um, there's also another Psycho Ranger. This one was the Silver Psycho Ranger, which was a fake. It was Zane in disguise. So, but would be interesting if they had to fight someone equal to Zane's strength from the In Space series. Um, so that is the Psycho Rangers right there. What do you guys think? Do you think these guys were a credible threat? I thought they were one of the greatest in my opinion, but let me hear about you. And do you, really, do you think we're going to see them again? Do you want to see them again? That's up to you guys. Let us know. Till next time, and may the power protect you always.